All right, back on TYT Sports. So uh, yesterday I did a little bit on Kevin Durant, mm -hmm. Golden State Warriors, Oklahoma City Thunder. Durant literally took a, f a metaphorical, a literal, and a figurative crap all over the, goal, uh, <laughs> over the, the Oklahoma City Thunder. And I'm going to be a little harsh towards the Thunder on this mm -hmm. one, but not towards Westbrook. So let's clear the air on a couple things. Someone did mention to me on Twitter, but Jason, you just Kantar wasn't playing. That's a fair point. Yeah. Their best bench option in terms of scoring um, was not playing. He was not available. He was injured. So that makes a little bit of a difference. Was it enough to overcome what at one point was a 30-point blowout? No, they would have won by a lot. Uh, Francis, here's some of the creativity from the Thunder fans. And I'm not blaming Thunder fans, man. They have this moment to welcome back Kevin Durant. And he left the team, so they're, gonna, they're not going to welcome him back with standing ovations. I would hope in like 15 years they do. Yeah. I would hope his, because his number's going to get retired in Oklahoma City. It should. He should retire with, regardless how many rings he possibly wins, or ring he wins with Golden State, or whatever happens. Maybe he ends up going back to Oklahoma City at some point in his career. That number belongs in OKC. So here's, uh, but they might retire this jersey. This is number eight. Uh, <laughs> cupcake. <laughs> Uh, there's also the Mr. Unreliable shirt, hands down one of the worst articles in the history of professional newspaper writing was yeah. Mr. Uh, Mr. Unreliable, Kevin Durant. Yeah, and then uh, Michael Thompson, Clay Thompson's dad, if he's a cupcake, okay, see, I'll take a dozen to go. <laughs> look, at, look at Michael Thompson's Twitter handle, at Champagne and Nuts. That's the best name. That's the best name. Yeah, that would be a good Twitter handle for Ja'Cory. Yeah, Ja'Cory needs it. Oh, no, what was Ja'Cory's uh, name that we we're going to have? It was his uh, porn name. I forgot it was he. Was it oh, Ice Shadow? Ice Shadow. Shadow Ice? Shadow Baller? Shadow... I think it was Shadow and Ice. Shadow's Ice... ice. Shadow Ice House. Shadow, Shadow ice. ice House. Best yeah, name I, I of all. Never gets old! All right, um... So I've got a few points on this. Watch the game. Phenomenal game. Loved what I was seeing. It's the one way to, to shut up the trolling fans is <laughs> to play out of your mind. But not just that is, again, Jason... This is where we might disagree a little bit. I know you are ahead of some. You have some harsh words for Golden State Warriors. We can, oh, we can uh, for uh, uh, Oklahoma City fans. No, of course. Um, but I, I see your how upset you get and how much you almost always sympathize with fans because you're an angry fan yourself. I just don't think there's any way that you can contemplate that your best player left you in order to go and join a team that's now just obviously going to go without any minor, uh, major blip are going to go to the Western Conference Finals, and uh, the NBA yes, Finals again. Yes. So uh, the only way that you can fathom that is to just have an uh, overwhelmingly <laughs> high amount of hate and trolling towards him. Yeah, the, the fact that he left to go to Golden State Warriors, we are neutral fans and we understand it. We're like, yeah, he wants to go and win a championship. But when you're a fan of that city and you're a fan of that team mm -hmm. and you were so close to winning a championship, you don't see how far away you actually are. You think you're still so close. You still think, but other teams are strengthening and strengthening and they're getting better and better. The fact that Kevin Durant with Russell Westbrook was almost like they, they, were, they had simply tunnel vision. Like they just seen those two and they just seen a championship and they were like, we've got a chance. We've got two of the best players in the league. That's it. But they didn't see that LeBron James was building an army in the Eastern Conference. And they didn't see that the Golden State Warriors was redefining the way the game would be played and had three-point shooters that regardless of how good your team were, was so hard to defend against in that season. So... In order to, to, to be able to contemplate why Kevin Durant left, it's so much easier to just be like, I fucking hate that guy, Look, man. He's a scumbag. He left rather than why I he don't, did it. I, you're not wrong, and neither am I. So <laughs> neither of us are wrong. Um, I sympathize with him. That's the only thing. I totally understand why OKC fans went all out for this, right? I understand why they were in the cupcake shirt. By the way, Traymond Green, love the guy or hate the guy. What a press conference. <laughs> what a post-game press conference. You hear, you hear what he said? What did he say? He goes, yeah, man, the Thunder fans, they blessed me with this cupcake shirt. <laughs> you know why? Because, I don't know, cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> it's just hilarious. My, my problem is, is the, the post-game reaction. This is why I could never have, like, callers. Like the radio shows. Yeah. I would just lose it too much. I'd scream at people. It would be bad. Be like Mad Dog on Mad Dog Exposure. Just be bad. It would be bad. I would just yell at them. Uh, that they couldn't win the game. But what kind of... First of all, it's not that the Thunder are losing to the Warriors. They're down 3-0 on the season series. They're getting completely obliterated. And last time I checked, the Thunder are a playoff team 
and I understand. I'm not making this point that the Lakers beat the Warriors, so the Lakers are better than the Thunder. My point being is the Grizzlies have beaten the Warriors mm -hmm. this year. They're not undefeated. Mm -hmm. Yet there's a mentality from some that they are. And they can't be beat in a one-game instance on your own court. You need to want that game more. So when Westbrook is they're down 20 and he's yelling at KD, I'm coming, I'm coming. KD's looking back and he's saying, so what? Scoreboard. The thing I have against Kevin Durant, the only thing I have against Kevin Durant is he definitely plays towards plays his game up more towards the Thunder yeah. than he does any other team. And what I said yesterday on the clip, which I'd like to kind of rephrase a little bit, if I'm allowed to. Oh, I mean, I'll read the comments. Just like right. everyone says to Adele, Jason, you get all the redos you want. I do? I yeah, get you get all, all the way Ellen told Adele. Oh, and Adele. she was like, I know it's live TV. I know I said fuck shit ass. I'm sorry. <laughs> is she Scottish? Yeah. I could do the best Adele impression, by the way. She goes, thank you, thank you. Who <laughs> fought a girl from London? You don't talk to her, don't like flying in a global success. <laughs> I really think Odell and The weekend should get together. They both write the most depressing music. Yeah. Um, just a side thought. But if I could rephrase this, it's not... Like, Kevin Durant should play more like Russell Westbrook's mentality. Play 178% every damn game. Whether you're playing the Jazz or... But he doesn't. Team. He plays 150% against the Thunder. He plays like 80% against some other teams. And by the way, that's also LeBron does the same thing. Yeah. And Kevin Durant is getting exactly what he wanted. Less mileage... Less minutes per game. He'll be healthier for the playoffs. He's got about he's got teammates that really back him up. He's friends with Draymond. So I guess my point, my overarching theme here is you get one more game, I think, in Oklahoma City. That is your Super Bowl. That is your finals. You gotta try to beat them instead of getting blown the fuck out. It's uh, You played with the guy. You know eight years. By the way, Andre Roberson, you got some balls, man. He just goes up to him like, Andre Roberson, what are you doing? <laughs> when did you become the enforcer for the Thunder? No disrespect. By all means, I'm for that. Chippiness, that's what we wanted, right? Yeah. This is the only blowout of the season where people were like, well, I got to watch to see if someone throws a punch. It's not just his performance that goes through the roof, Jason. Right. It's his... Ability to defend on the other side of the ball for the Golden State Warriors. Kevin Durant, when he is defending, look at his numbers against OKC. 0 0.59 points per play. People who, are, who play directly right, against yeah. him when he's defending are 8 from 29. Two, from, two for 11 from 3. Yeah. He is a lockdown defender when he plays against OKC. If he does that against the Cleveland Cavaliers, if he does that against the San Antonio Spurs, like, I'm not saying he doesn't, but his defensive capabilities, it's almost like he has this mentality when he plays against OKC. It's like, you want to talk shit on me? You want to question my decision to go and try and win a championship? All right, I'm not only going to just crap all over you when I get the ball in my hands. When, you, when I don't have the ball, I'm going to make it the worst thing possible. And we've saw his defensive capabilities in the past. Trust me, he is the gangliest of gangly. I don't want those long limbs all up in my face when I'm trying to shoot. But when he does it, man... It's remarkable. So if he's, and, and the same with anybody who's that great, you're like, why can't you be that great all the time? But we know things come into play. Fatigue, certain things go, but all that goes out the window when you have the eye of the tiger. Yeah. He especially was. against a team that you hate. Oh, not that you hate, that you used to play for and you've got a point to prove. But well, if you get against a team that you hate, then yeah, you still do it as well. Objectively speaking, the guy is a top three player in the league at all times. He was put that on display against the Thunder. I don't think he's going to be any different in the playoffs. I don't think he's going to take anything less seriously in the second season. Um, I don't think Russell Westbrook's going to pass him the ball in the All-Star game. <laughs> but that would be really funny. Uh, it's coming up. It's this weekend. I'm, not, I'm, I'm so much more interested. I'm excited for the, the dunk contest. The dunk contest? Yeah. Well, Aaron, Obviously, what's his name? get uh, Aaron unfinished Gordon? business. Aaron, Zach, uh, Lo, Zach. No, Levine's not doing it because his injury. Is no, out. but who was it? Who, was it By last way, year that Levine, you said that the best dunk ever was robbed? Aaron Gordon. Oh, uh, Aaron Gordon. Yeah, what? so he's got unfinished it's business, like I think. the dunk I've ever seen. Uh, it's the greatest dunk of all time I've ever seen, which goes into the greatest. The dunk goat of all goats time. dunked in goats. goats. Um, the Cavs traded Birdman. Yeah. They, just, they literally sent a carrier pigeon. For a guy that didn't play, injured. He's injured. Got rid of him. They're that's like, yeah, why yeah, Birdman, we like you, but mm. that's why LeBron James <laughs> was complaining but about people, the whole point. People say like, why, why, uh, why are they getting rid of Birdman? Like, they want the space. They're gonna make another move. They're gonna find their playmaker. I really hope it's Nate Robinson. I still hope it's Nate Robinson. Be great. I'm praying for it. All right, comment below, like, favorite, subscribe. But like, you guys know the drill at this point. Just, just subscribe. You know it goes a long way. Ding the bell. 
Francis something on Twitter, Jason something on Twitter. You guys have Google. You'll figure it out.